hey guys in our last video we saw few string functions and uh, uh, we also explored how to create new dimensions out of it right we created new calculator fields uh, with functions like left right mid subfield etc so today we will see few more commonly used uh, string functions based on the same example okay so so th these are few um, fields we derived last time if you remember uh, or so with the help of mid function we basically uh, got this order id right so uh, in the sales order id field so we took we started from the third uh, character and ended in the uh, i mean uh, starting from three we took five characters right so because since uh, yes so starting from three we took five characters this is fine as long as the fields are st uh, the content is static so here's got a fixed number of characters uh, five and seven right it has <clears throat> seven characters but what if if the um, characters are not constant okay let's say uh, product okay so what if we use a uh, mid function to get the uh, second half the the size so last time we derived size using the uh, uh, subfield so using subfield we took the second half of comma right if suppose i am going to do that with the help of mid right product okay so in this product my comma is in uh, 14th position right so after that i need two or three Uh, characters okay so let me give 14 comma 3 so what we get here is varied response right so if i select this i could see uh, i'm getting the size m here it is fine but whereas here we are getting different records right because this Uh, the 14 which we gave is not static it's going to vary for every row right so this comma the position of comma is going to be different right so i cannot go with a <coughs> fixed approach rather we have to automate this we have to somehow identify this number which gives us the position of uh, uh, comma over here right so for that we can use a function called index okay so index of the field name product so i'm looking for index of comma in this product field and i want to return the first instance where it is hit right so what we get here is a list of numbers so in this product comma is at the 19th position 19th character whereas here it is at the 13th place okay so index gives us the position of this comma over here so what we need is one step after comma right the 14th uh, for example here it is the 13th position so what we need is m which is present in the 14th position so we need one uh, value higher than this uh, index okay so that is going to give me the size so uh, okay so whereas here it is 19 so my 20th character is going to be the l size okay so let's copy this formula and let me update this function so instead of hard coding the starting point i'm going to make it as a dynamic one okay so index plus 1 so i want to add one more value to it so starting from there i need two characters right so either it is uh, single character is short medium large sml or it's going to be a number okay let's quickly see how it looks like okay if you have noticed here all the strings are fine i i could see yes m ls over here but whereas the numbers 38 42 i see only 3 and 4 right uh, the last digit is missing 8 and 2 is missing okay we have given 
two here but still it is missing okay the reason is so let me try with three and now now i could see three right uh, and both the digits so the reason it requires three is we have a, a space after this comma if you have noticed it right so after comma we have a space followed by the number 42 even here space followed by l or s or m right so space requires one occupies one character and that's why <coughs> it is expecting three over here it occupies three characters we can quickly confirm that uh, with the help of a function called length we have a function called length let us quickly explore that as well so i'll add a simple text box before that i will copy this formula so we are going to find the length of this output actually okay so the function is len length so length of this okay so it's it will work only if i select a particular record it's going to be executed at the row level so it returns two even though i have only one character over here so that means it, it has still got the space before m okay even though we don't see it here it occupies the space is still present and it occupies two character the same here there is two digit but i still see the length is three okay so in such cases right uh, we can use a function called trim okay trim is going to remove spaces from both the ends okay or if you are interested only in the left you can go with left trim or you can go with the right trim so trim is basically going to remove all the blank spaces so now you could see it occupies only two right so this is two character in length and this is m is one character in length okay so hope we are clear on that so so that's the reason we are going with three here okay maximum three characters including the uh, space okay so now we have uh, used mid function and we have automated it with the help of index function okay so similarly uh, last time we derived these um, order i we derived this order id from sales order id right so if we recollect we used this approach um one is the mid approach okay so starting from third character we took the five numbers so we ignored the so and starting from here we took five digits six one three two one right so we used mid since we know uh, the the length so we hard went with an hard coded approach same with right function since we know the number of digits is going to be always five so we went with right function we took the right most five digits right so we will explore few other approaches so one approach is i can simply remove this character so right from this sales order id so that is going to give me the remaining the remaining portion is my order id right so to remove that we have a function called purge okay purge care so i'm going to purge a particular character from this field okay so it is so so wherever the string so is present in that uh, text right it's going to purge everything or i mean delete everything so what we are going to get is the remaining portion right so what we get the integer part 61321 so the so is um, actually deleted okay so this is one uh, way of doing it and purge care will, will look for a string match in any part of the text it need not be the beginning it could be at the end or it could be the middle anywhere right it looks for so in any part of the uh, text and it's going to remove that uh, another option is we can go with a function called replace okay so i'll replace this field i'm going to re in that field i'm going to replace this part of the text with an empty string okay remember it's not a it's just a 
codes okay if i add a space over here it, it's going to be a blank and it's going to occupy one character so i'm just giving empty codes so it doesn't occupy i'm not it's not a, a blank or space it's it's just an empty okay so i'm going to simply replace so with an uh, empty character so basically it's going to be removed so it's just similar right we can yes so we could see replace returns the integer part i mean the so part is replaced so this is one uh, another uh, commonly used uh, string function replace okay So like we did uh, last time, we will quickly move all our uh, expressions to the backend and then we will perform a quick reload. Okay, So ideally all these transformations should be done in the uh, backend as a general practice okay, or, or a best practice. right? So I will go copy this purge care, I will copy this replace. Okay, so mid of product <coughs> uh, is going to return my size. Okay, so I cannot have columns with same name. So I would say I just add one more e. Okay, size. And this perch care is going to return my order ID. So it's going. We are basically removing yes. So, so I would say order ID. Or I would simply say order ID one. This I would say order ID two. Okay, so replace perch care mid index. Okay, we also explored um, um, trim, right? Trim how to remove the space, and we also saw length function. Okay, let me quickly reload this. Let's have a quick preview of the data. Yeah, order ID one, order ID two, size. Okay. So hope we are uh, clear with whatever we saw of the string functions today. Please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification. Thanks for watching.